Alright. Why does my nose have to be so itchy? Fortunate. I just read my 100th my 100th sentence of Japanese. Good job, Suicude. Good job. Always getting those milestones in, man. Good, good man. Good job. Oof. All right. Whew. Glad to see you improving, man. Glad to hear you improving, getting those milestones, getting the job done, all that, all that. Whew. Hmm. Right. Oof. Deep breaths. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Keep it good. All right. Good intro. Good intro this time. Let's see if the castle is friendly to me this time. Alright. Oh yeah, so they have revealed some new themes about the next update. It's just, they haven't re- So, we can talk about that. Oh, still on cooldown. I still believe. I still believe. But yeah, I need to focus on the run, but they have revealed the next update will be mid-May, is when they're going to release it. And they are going to start revealing some of the new game plus sort of elements. And I know that they compare the new game plus elements that they're adding to the... How would I compare it? If you've played Hades, it's compared. A lot of people have been comparing it to the heat system, uh, except they call it burdens. I'm certain that um, the developers can make it distinct in in their own way, but a lot of people have been saying like it's a lot like it look. It sounds a lot like the heat system of you choose your burdens that you face in your next time around, which, I mean, by all means. Heat was chosen because a good it's a good system. Alright. 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 Let's see, what else? They said that the drift the drift house is something that they've been working on and saying they're gonna release like several patches ago. And this patch, they're saying that they're releasing half of the drift house. We still, we still don't really know what the Drift House is. We, um, our understanding is it's what we spend those, um, pearls on that you get whenever you beat a boss, but that's all we know. Ugh. Oof. But yeah. Suicude, you have to order a new writing pad soon. I'm assuming you're breaking it. Uh. Oof. Gotta focus on the run right now. Oof. Okay. Didn't fall to my demise. That's the important part. Uh. Vibes is saying, he's thinking about learning a new language, but I need to improve my English first. Hey, man. Like, I will say from writing at least... You're completely understandable and understood in English. Um, so that's good, at the very least. That, as a person who's born and raised in America, so speak fluent English, heavily, and only English, you do set- I'm able to read all your sentences every time you post in my chat, so... You have that for yourself, going vibes. Alright. But I'm certain there's always more to improve, because... I mean, there's English classes in 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 our school that there's still a lot of improvement to be done where we are, so. Certainly there's always more. Ooh. This is a long one. Alright. Well, I took some damage. Unfortunate. But at least we're out. 
And Lamex here. Awesome. Oof. Get a blueprint. Leather weapon, that's the blueprint you want. I mean, you want Warden Weapon 100%, but you cannot... I do not think you can get Warden Weapon in the first area. So, yeah. Ooh. Just myself set up. We're just facing the mech. Got focus, but don't have to worry about anything. I guess we're going through Stiggy and Stut we're going through Axis Monday without touching Stiggy and Study this time. Can't believe I threw that fireball into a wall. Oh well. Get me out. And fall. There we are. Yee, I still have problems with things like on, in, at. Oh, with verbs and, like, a few of the specific... Yeah, that stuff. To be fair, a lot of English-speaking people also have issues with that. Um, was it the three different types of theirs? A lot of native English speakers still can't get the three down pat. Or at the very least in America, we can't. Hmm. So yeah, we're just going to get Echo Kick. We're going to leave the Stiggy and Study for later. This time. This time. Ooh. Gotta make sure I have my hand there when I need it. Because I'm not pressing buttons. Alright. Get through. But yeah, I will say this. One of the most important things about a new language, or about... With the English language, probably the most important thing is that you're understood. Over that you can, like, do all the proper verbs and all that stuff. So, I will say this, Vibes. You're already thoroughly understood. So that's a good thing. I had no idea you were of another... Like, I... I here's the thing. For a lot of you guys, I'd be con thoroughly convinced if you don't told me you were in America, if it wasn't for the fact that you already told me you're not in America. So, a lot of you guys have been doing really well in your English. I'll say that much. Hmm. All right. You have the kick. Looks like, unfortunately, we're not going for Gone Heads. Because we already have our health refueled, and we never touched the Stiggy and Study, which means we don't touch the Stiggy and Study. I was hoping... So, I think if I could get those more free treasure chests, because that gives me the opportunity at the Warden Repin, I think they're worth it. Alright. Go. Hmm. Why did he not get knocked back? I hate how sometimes the enemy doesn't get knocked back. It really messes with my um preparation. And we're going to have a bad run because of it. Because I've taken too much damage. I have to get book like once I get to the once I get to the boss. And that's assuming I make it. And then, if I don't make it, then we have no architect. We don't have the money for an architect. Unless I get it. Actually, that might be a good backup. We're at 1830. 1840 is the absolute minimum. 
Give me a few gold pieces. One gold piece. Alright, even if we die, we can buy the Architect. Though that doesn't mean I'd like to die, sir. If you could stop. Alright, hey, open the door. Ah. Alright. Alright. Ooh. Keep going. Ah. All right. Well, we're making it through. I think the water kills me at this point, so I gotta be. Water doesn't kill me. All right, we're gonna make it. Stay it now. We're gonna make it. There we are. Awesome. And since. So, while we can only take one hit, we have the money for the Architect. So, I'm okay, um... I'm okay dying here. We're gonna assume we live through this, but... If we die here, we still have the run. The run's still alive. Which is... Something I usually can't say. And that's why it's valuable to get chests just randomly when you can. Unfortunately, we will not be able to pick up the sword. We're going to have to do it for the minimum route. Just for security, we will go the minimum route. Yeah, we're just gonna use that now. There we go. And look at this, we are taking the boss out without taking damage. So, we can actually s maintain the book. Awesome. All right. I think it could only improve my English if I went to America or the UK and actually live there for like six months. My passive vocabulary is insanely good, but my active, not so. Yep. The U.S., yeah. I will say it's great. It's pretty great in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Um, though you gotta be, you gotta know where you wanna go. I'm trying to think where, where I would suggest going, because definitely California is pretty, I mean, with COVID, if you're doing it before, like, I'd say don't do it pre-COVID, like, until all these vaccines get out and stuff, because, like, so much stuff is, like, held off and kind of locked down. You wouldn't, I feel you wouldn't get the proper experience, you know? So, wait until this COVID stuff dies off. And then, or at the very least, if you do do it pre-COVID, you're going to have to do some place like um, Texas that doesn't really... That, you know, the more locked down, the bigger the city, and therefore the more they locked down in response, the less there would be... Want to go to Arizona? Yeah, that'd probably be a place that's okay right now. That's my guess. At least my guess. Is there anything specific in Arizona that you... that excites you about that place? I'm just curious. Um, There's a few states that are... Well, are we call them flyover states because... Um, it's just like... Ooh. I can't believe I actually was able to time that shield bash despite that mistake. Oof. Big fan of the Sea Phoenix Suns. Alright. Oof. Ooh, got 
one of the lilies that's actually acquirable, so that's good. Alright. Fire shores! Hey! Guys! We're sticking to the root without the book. Despite where that was going. Despite it looking like that was a dead run. We are suddenly... With some backups, with some treasure collection, we are back on route. That's really nice. That feels really nice. Hmm. Ah, oh, didn't pick up the meat. Oh well. Okay, meat he here. We're gonna be at okay health. We're gonna be at okay health. There we are. Oh, cause gom heads. I was like, why am I only at bone please right now? Because I never got gom heads. That's why. But you don't mind visiting other states you know a little about Indiana, too? Yeah. I know one time we did, like, a big round trip around all the states. But I didn't get... I didn't get to see too much of most of them. Because we just had to kind of ride past them as we were doing the thing we were doing. It happens. But... Oof. Alright, so... But the other lily is just all the way to the right with no detours, so that's good. That's easy. Oof. There we are. Second lily. Massachusetts? Hmm. Another interesting place. Unfortunately, I cannot speak too much about these because those were definitely states where we just kind of ran through as we were going on our trip. Where were we going? I think it was Chicago? But I know we did, like, a trip around um, most of the country. Not we, ne we didn't go all the way to the East Coast or anything like that. But, yeah. And I know, like, our run through Texas was, like, super quick. We didn't stay long at all. Thanks, Wargs, for reminding me just how fragile life really is. And thank you, Apple, for making sure I never die. I'm immortal. All right. Just so someone could explain me to me how to pronounce Massachusetts. Um, Mass A two, and then the last, the last um, theme is I'm not sure. I think it's yeah. I think it's sets. So it's Massachusetts. So Massachusetts. I might be pronouncing it wrong myself. Honestly. Hmm. Oof. I right, made a stupid mistake. Don't want to make a second. Thanks, Doomvis. Making sure I can't get through without touching you. Alright, Enoch. Sure. Glad you made this worthwhile. Not what I expect. Not who I expected to find there, but glad I found you. <laughs> Massacre tits, <laughs> perfect. Uh, thank goodness for a double jump. All right, so the path to the right is basically all I've got right now. Thank you, Murmur. Give us another routing error. We're heading to the right because we need to find the heirloom. Now, we need survivability.
We're scared of finding the that room, this room right there. But that's the only fear. Ah, uh, that's much further than I thought it was. Alright, we're gonna let those go. Thank you. Here is some health. Don't die. Yes, sir. Alright. Neither really useful for this character. And we also don't know where Gone Heads are. So we only have... We have Enoch. We have Murmur. We still need to find the Heirloom. We still need to find Gone Heads. Alright. We checked all the paths to the left, or to the right, so now we go to the paths to the left. And we're going up to the left, because, um, up also allows us to find the air loop, but it seems like that's a dead end, so... Don't bother with that guy. Gone heads, great. Unfortunately, we still need to find... Alright. Here's the plan. We go to Murmur. There are two rooms to the right. That looks... That looks like perfectly sized rooms. For us to run into the heirloom that I'm looking for. Alright, not that one. But we go right, and now we find it. Mm. There we are. Whew. No, but for real, I'd probably go to South Carolina or Charleston. Or Utah and Salt Lake City. Hmm. I've been to Salt Lake City, Utah. Nice little place. Nice little place. Um, and you know someone from the other area. Alright. Whew. Yeah, I, I'm not... So here's the thing. I'm not really a geographic person. I'm, as you can guess, shut in, do a lot of stuff in my room. So, I don't really know... I can't really think of sort of tourist locations I would suggest other than California because I live in California with the Golden Gates and all the other feeds that we have to offer. Don't go to LA. Don't go to LA. Them. Didn't have the bad bounces. Alright. Definitely having this one better than last time. Awesome. Whew. Keep it going. Keep it good. There we are. Done. So now we have Murmur, Eat Gone Heads, and then we retire. Yep. We good. Let's grab Gone Heads first, because I have the health for it. Alright. Whew. have significantly equivalent damage. Whew. Kind of concerning that I, those two are still alive, but yeah, they disappear eventually, so at least I have that. Oh, I could stop their charge entirely? I had no idea. 
Well placed knockback can stop their charge entirely. Let the fire kill that one. As it does. There we go. Whew. Keep it going. Keep it good. Get my average back down. Back down after I went so high. Alright. My brother did a trip from east to west for his honeymoon. Don't know the details of what route they started, but they started in Florida and went to San Francisco. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I only know of Miami to the Grand Canyon, Las Vegas, and then San Francisco. Oh yeah, Las Vegas. Ah, uh, Las Vegas. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what happened there, because it all stays there. That is actually, it turns out it's a code of, it's a rule. It's not even, we're not allowed to bring it out ever. If I'm not in Vegas, I'm not allowed to tell you anything. Anyways, bright flashing warning. We're about to face some red orbs, and the red orbs boom and bust, and confetti a blindness. Like so. Mm. Gosh, it feels so ho tough knowing that the optimal route is to then kill my character because this this character did so much good. This character did so much good. You know what? Forget it. We're doing another one life run. This character has done so much good. It's at full health finishing up its task. We're doing another one life run because I want, I want to see this character get the life it deserves. Give the life it deserves. Ugh. Alright. Oh, use a VPN to go to Las Vegas so you can tell the story? Eh, that's funny. Ah. Yeah, no, I'm just... So, to be honest, I'm not the one who spent the time at Vegas. Um, like... I'm trying to think. Yeah. I didn't really do anything the one time we I wasn't... Was I ever at Vegas? I think I was once, but, like, not... Not in, like, the casino or any of those areas that you would expect. Um... But... I just, I've always heard of the stories of, like, my my friends and, like, their times going through Vegas. And generally, what I hear is that the Blue Man group is not for them. Like, it's usually the only thing playing, and then it's, like, super expensive. And just, if you don't know what you're getting into, it's just, it's not, it's not a thing that normal people do. You know, it's not just, like, it's not a show, it's, a, it's the Blue Man group. And... If you're just, like, trying to go go looking for a show, sometimes they're just not shows. Ugh. So, I guess maybe if you're going there with, like, a specific show in mind, could definitely work out, but... Yeah. From my understanding, don't go to Vegas just because it's Vegas. Actually have some sort of plan. Have I ever left the U.S.? Um, for... Yeah, for one day. Um, we had a trip. I had, a, um... A trip that, um, took me over to... New Mex... To Mexico. So... We spent one day in Mexico. But... 
Just one day. So not long at all. Enough to see the differences in the culture, but not enough to, like, really appreciate the country or anything like that. To any, like, heavy degree. You know? Okay, so I do have my shield back. That's good. Ah. And I just used my shield in time for me to need it again. Alright, damage boost. There we go. Pr that was a proper damage boost. Woo, kept myself alive. But we're having other issues. This fight definitely is going a bit south. Can't deny that. Alright, we have our shield back. Thank goodness. Invincibility frames. I thought I was out of the space, but I wasn't. Ah, Mexican food, though, and you have, like, a awesome face. But the thing is, you can get a lot of good Mexican food over in America, so... Love watching food tubers. I just realized the uh, I chose this because he had magma mask compared to the other spells. One of them had the combative trait. One of them had the combative trait. I actually picked the wrong character. And messy up at the maw obviously cost me a lot of time, but it's okay. It's okay. Should I have chosen actually taken barbarian? Probably a worthy decision point there. We're going to Check this out real fast. Good Mexican food is few and far in between in Germany. So I will say in California, I maybe it's just because it's California and so close to Mexico, but I swear, like, you only have to go downtown for you to find the proper Mexican restaurants run by actual people who lived in Mexico and know how to make the food proper, because we definitely have an amazing burrito place, not not a no more than 10 minutes away so yeah mexican food is great don't get me wrong like i i make pretty awesome burritos they're they're my, some of my favorite foods definitely but yeah over here in california there's definitely a lot of, there's too much mexican food <laughs> then again how much is too much Well, when you're eating it for every meal of the day, then it starts becoming kind of a little much. Yeah, neighbors in Mexico, exactly. That's why we have all the good Mexican food. Because it. Basically, you could find a restaurant made by people that lived in Mexico and wanted to open a restaurant and then couldn't because whatever reasons going on in Mexico, I'm not gonna, I legitimately do not know to, enough about that to talk about it and I feel like I'm only gonna get myself or someone else hurt by trying to, so, but yeah, whatever's going on in Mexico, they come here and they open great restaurants. Like, there's... Hmm. There's honestly an issue that there are some places that I'll wander into, or like... Like... Just like, over here where I live, and... Everyone there only speaks Spanish, not English, so, like, I can't communicate. Like, that has legitimately occurred, despite, um, not being in Mexico. Because, yeah. But. Yeah, we neighbor it. So, we get a lot of people that are from Mexico, and... I mean, that really tells you everything. I don't... I feel like I'm just repeating the same thing 13 different times. Already said. Already said. Oof. There we go.
So the Mexicans in California are like the Turkish people in Germany. I'm sure, yes. I really don't know about the Turkish people in Germany, but I'm assuming so. I'm assuming so. Turkish kebab dominates the street food in Germany. Oof. I hope you like, like Turkish street kebab. Because, yeah, that's a, that's a fair estimation. That's a fair estimation. Um, maybe, okay, maybe not as severe. Maybe not that severe, but definitely, definitely they're the that they're a majority they're decent sized ma um group i will say that much and because of that the good food that comes with them came with them there we go hmm. all right Gotta make sure all these break, because sometimes they don't, and that just costs us a ton of time. Alright, 52 damage. I didn't even realize I'm doing that much. Ah. But the Germanized kebab uses chicken meat instead of lamb. Because Germans like their chicken. Good man. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, like, we always take... Like, taking a meal that is from a different area and, like, converting it to fit into your area is, like, an amazing theme that's how you get some of the best foods. Like, I'm not sure if you know this, but if you ever go to a sit-down restaurant, the most popular food in America, by far, is the hamburger. And I happen to know that the hamburger was made by a German person. I know there is like some, like hamburgers are a bit different where you guys are, but the hamburger is not, you know, it was initially, it's German in name. It's, yeah. So, and the hamburgers are amazing. So, but yeah, it's because we got it from Germany and then we used like, a bunch of I know there's like a theme that we use different spices from like other countries and stuff like that. Well, we have a city called Hamburg. Yeah, I I know for a fact the hamburger came from a German person, whether or not it's a common German meal. So Yeah. I think there's a theme that's like Apparently, at the very least, we eat them different. Apparently, a lot of you guys eat it with a fork, like casuals. While we actually use our hands like you're supposed to. <laughs> uh. It's not named after the burger. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. So, you never heard of people eating it with a fork? Or you never heard of us eating it with our hands? Because, yeah, we don't use utensils. Oh, chopsticks. Okay, I'll re I respect you on that. I'll respect you on that. But yeah, we don't use utensils when eating a hamburger. We just grip it by the buns and eat. So. But yeah, I, I love using chopsticks for food that it's not meant to. It really does work. Yes, normal hamburgers. Um, and this is where I think that, like, maybe we... Maybe normal hamburger in America is different than a normal hamburger in Germany. Because, yeah, there's... Without question. Yeah, we eat hamburgers just with our hand. Um, we use our hands, grab the bun, pick it up. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay... Yeah, those, if that's a normal hamburger, if you watch Gordon Ramsay, yeah, those are normal hamburgers. And, yeah, we usually eat those with our hands. He uses a knife and fork because that's his style. But, um, oh. Oh, normal hamburger with hands. Fancy restaurant run by Gordon Ramsay, 
Fork and knife. It's the location, not the burger. Okay, okay. Quality. Okay, we can res we can respect each other on that. We can respect each other on that. That I can appreciate. That I can appreciate. And we have a good time. We have a good time. Not best time, but good time. <laughs>